Hi, and it is the sixth Sunday of Ordinary Time. As you can see, I am still surrounded by snow. It is the dead of winter, as we say. But as we listen to the gospel this week, Jesus talks to us about something that we are very much aware of, especially as Americans, the law. Jesus talks about the law of Moses and how that law sometimes, as we look at it, we can become very legalistic and we can use it to live by the letter of it rather than by the spirit of it. Jesus once again tries to get us to expand our minds and most importantly to expand our hearts to make us look at what the law is all about that the law is there to make us better people in other words is to make us better people so that we can take care of one another and love one another that is the most important thing you know there was an old cartoon in the new york times uh not new york times the new yorker magazine and it had a picture of moses standing on top of the mountain with the two tablets and it says you know Moses, these laws don't give us a lot of wiggle room. <laughs> and of course they don't, because they try to encompass everything that we can be. Do we always live up to that expectation? Of course not. But God is always there to encourage us, inspire us, to pick us up when we have fallen down, and to say, you know what, I still love you. I still care about you. And I want you to continue to keep trying to be the best person that you can be. My friends, that is the fulfillment of the law. So that when we leave this world and go to the next, we will experience a life of something that we can't even begin to imagine. But while we are still here in this kingdom on earth, we need to be able to live it the best that we can. Asking God for help, for strength to be in our daily chores, to be in our daily thoughts, to be in our daily words that we speak to one another so that we can encourage and, and inspire other people. My friends, I invite you to come to Church of the Nativity, a stewardship parish of time, talent, and treasure here in Midland Park, New Jersey, a place where we are not perfect, but we try to encourage and inspire one another by the way we pray together. So join us. I know it's cold. I know sometimes it's inconvenient. But make time for God this week and come and join us and pray with us at Mass. We want to remind you that for on December 26, a Wednesday evening, we have Discovering Christ series that is starting. February. And uh, I'm sorry, it's, it's in February, February 26th. I'm getting my months confused now. And uh, we start a seven-week program called Discovering Christ. Great program, a great thing for you to do for Lent. 6.45, we give you dinner. 7.30, we start the program. 9.15, you're walking out the door. A great reflection on our faith and on what it means to be Christian. The other thing is, at the end of the month, on February 28th and March 1st, we have our 26-hour experience for men's cornerstone we do this in conjunction with uh, st luke's over in hohokus we would love our men in the parish that have not had this experience to join myself and father ray father jim and father estevan on this incredible experience again it's very low-key but something that is a great thing to do for lent god bless you